Well, today, Andrew and I are at the Goodwill. And um, he's going to go in with me today. Sometimes he just hangs out in the truck. i got a padlock on the back of the truck. But we've got a padlock on the back of the truck. So, we're going to head into this Goodwill. I can't remember if today is their non-stocking day. <laughs> I get the days confused. But we're going to check it out anyway. And see what we can find that we can buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wife Lady and welcome to my channel. Well, this set right here kind of looks like Lennox, but it's not. Whoa, $12.49 each or together? It must be the entire set. I just happened to pick up Baby Jesus, who has the price of everything on it. Well, let's check out the figurine shelves. Got a bisque vase back here. Marked Lamour China, hand painted. Little spill of vase. Unfortunately, you can see here the damage on that. What is this? That is Honko. Well, I am switching over to a voiceover, and I have a little bit of a scratchy throat, so please just bear with me. Uh, right here, I am checking out the mugs to see if there are any vintage mugs or anything catches my eye. I'm not seeing a whole lot. We've got canisters here on the shelves. Sometimes they have their teapots here. Andrew brought over uh, this frame that is already matted, and he can put some documents or something in there. Um, to sell at relic shows and this this was actually pretty nice it kind of looks like an amish scene um he looked it up comps and it retails for about 90 dollars. and we're right in the a good area for selling artwork like this so i think this may end up in the booth and that's what we're talking about where we're gonna sell this um you can see this piece here i kind of liked the design on it <laughs> he's pointing it out still this was a little chintz piece. You can see there on the back that it is a contemporary piece from Christmas Tree Shop for decoration only. This was a dish of some sort. And then down here, I really liked the shape of this. It was extremely bulky and extremely heavy. When we turned it over, we discovered it was Treasure Craft, which I had never seen this design by Treasure Craft before. But I suspect it was a chip and dip set, and it kind of had a southwest um, look to it. I liked it. It was six dollars and fifty cents, uh, but I just I couldn't really justify shipping that and the cost of shipping that. Even though we pass our shipping cost on to our buyers, I have to pay somebody to do it. Uh, so this is a punch bowl stand. Sometimes you find them in carnival glass, but there was a separate bowl that sat on top of it. This was a Jim Shore Santa Claus for $3.50. I'm rounding. <laughs> Forgive me. Um, Jim Shore. Yeah, so usually when I find Jim Shore on the shelves, it is broken. So the fact that this piece wasn't broken, I decided to grab it. This was a little snow baby set. I have lots of snow babies at the shop, so I wasn't really interested in picking up any more. <laughs> that looks like Boyd's Bears. And these little guys were absolutely ador adorable for $1.50. I did look them over, and one had a tiny little chip there on the ear, but I was willing to forgive it just because they were so sweet. And I have no idea who makes them. They did appear to be vintage, but they definitely earned a spot in my cart. Now we're looking through the Christmas here. This was an interesting little piece because it was more Snow Baby, uh, but it didn't look like any Snow Babies I had ever seen. I had a little girl by her mailbox, another figurine. And up here, these reminded me of some little cottages we picked up recently. Um, they sold pretty well, but these ones were something completely different, and they actually had chips on them. Usually when I find these little cottages, they do have chips, so I have to look them over real good. 
This was a Cronin blue tulip piece. You can see there's a lot of wear on the inside of that. I believe that these were um, actually given out by a &P. That's what Andrews taught me. Now we've got the clowns. I mean, I would love to bring those home and hang them on Juliet's wall, but I don't think that she would approve of that. They also look to be in a compromising position, so I left them there on the shelf. This was interesting. I'd never seen this before, even in the kids' section at Target. And it looked like a more expensive toy. So I opened it up to see what was inside. I suspect there may have been a doll that came with it. I'm not exactly sure. I thought about picking it up for Juliet, but it looked like there were pieces missing. And um, I just bought her a dragon a few weeks ago, and it's just sitting around collecting dust at this point. <laughs> Here, there appeared to be a vintage toy in this bag, and so I grabbed this bag out and stuck it in my cart, um, just because I don't know vintage toys very well, but Andrew does, and he was nowhere in sight, so I figured when he walked over, I would ask him about it. I've got some Shopkins. Juliet still enjoys playing with Shopkins, and we just keep them at the shop. Lots of toy cars in that bag. Some creepy crawlies. <laughs> and then I found this, and this had a jointed doll on the inside. Um, she also had a little baby there with her. I wasn't real sure about the quality of that piece, even though it was jointed, and so I left that there. And then I found the Scooby-Doo gang. <laughs> and I wasn't sure about these either. I thought, are these vintage? I don't know. I can't tell. And so I grabbed those as well and uh, figured I would wait for Andrew to appear. He usually goes in a different direction and scans the shelves. So. And there he is. And I said, hey, check out these things I got. <laughs> I got these. He didn't think that these were extremely vintage, so we put those back. And um, I'll try to turn on the audio for this explanation, but the music is kind of loud. That's one of the remakes of the He-Man, so that's not very old either. Okay. That's uh, Beast Man, but All right. these, yeah, it's not. No, I wouldn't grab these. Okay, you can do that. Here's yeah. small and thin like this, yeah. and more like streamlined. They're the newer, newer uh, makes. Okay. The older ones, like from the '80s that I played with, are like twice the size. Okay, that's they're, good to know. They're big. So those went back on the rack there and he noticed this and Andrew is a huge fan of Star Wars and so he decided to buy this potato head because it was Darth Vader and all of the pieces were there it had its mask and everything so he said this would probably earn a spot on his shelf um, or his desk at the shop now I'm looking through the glassware I liked the optic look of this but as you can see there on the bottom it did have a teleflora sticker and there wasn't much else as far as vases this one looked like it might be Italy you can see there on the bottom it is not this goose on wood unfortunately his beak appears to be damaged I like to pick up birds on wood it's just a thing <laughs> we used to do pretty well with them but I passed on those guys here, this deer was curious. It was $4.50. Uh, the way it was painted, I suspect it was likely a hobbyist piece. Now here we are. This is actually a new uh, shelving unit that they put up. This wasn't here before. But I found this swan planter, and it was $2.49. It looked to be Royal Copley, but I wasn't positive on that. Got a basket. I liked the blue florals on this, but you could see there was a repair on the handle, unfortunately. And then I was looking through the votives because I thought, you know what? Maybe today is my day to find a glassy baby. And I'm going to keep putting it out there into the universe until I find one. I found this candlestick instead. <laughs> there were no markings on it. It was $2.49. I thought it was a little bit plain. But this box was really nice. This was a hand-painted piece that had a red flower on it. 
somebody took the time to line it with velvet, which I thought was a nice touch. The velvet actually matched the flower. Um, and it is signed by the artist. I'm not sure how old this piece is, but I thought it was a nice, a nice piece. I'm not sure what was going on here. It was like a mirror, but somebody had glued aquatic stuff in there. And here was a nice little fire. Um, it was made of foam. I wasn't sure if it was maybe like a theatrical prop or something like that. I usually check over the candlesticks to see if they're Mark Sterling. You never know. Sometimes I've had luck, but very, very rarely. <laughs> and then I found the blue crap. And I really liked this blue crab. I thought he had character. And what was funny is when Andrew saw him in the car, he's like, you know, I picked that up and I actually straightened his lid. I guess he was backwards. So Andrew came by and fixed him. And then I came by and found him and thought, oh, I really like that. And so I stuck it in my cart. We have a rule that if we both pick up the same thing, it's probably meant to be. So that's why we grabbed that. Kind of looks like Pluto. And then there was a little uh, a little magnet there. It was a Coca-Cola polar bear. I figured if there's not much resale value for that, we would stick it on our fridge at the shop, which we ended up doing because it sells for about 8 to $12. And we've got a lamp. It was modern, but I th it kind of reminded me of Francoma, the way that it was glazed. We're back looking through the figurines. They are currently restocking, so I like to go up and down the shelves a few times. You see, there goes there goes the cart, and there goes everybody following it. So I like to lay back and wait until everyone's gone through it, and then I go and check it out because I'm just not that aggressive. Candlestick holder. And then I found these. These were like, I don't know, remote control cars possibly or model cars. I thought they were interesting there was like a whole bunch of them but I looked them over they were marked at 549 each I comped out a few of them and they just really didn't seem worthwhile to buy and try to flip at least the ones I looked at maybe there was a rare one there that I just didn't get to but I wasn't going to spend all day standing there looking up comps one of the other resellers here at the Goodwill actually spotted this and he gave it to Andrew and I I figured we'd have better luck with it than he would so that was very nice now I'm looking through the plates and the dishes these are Pyrex I actually have a very similar set to these um, in my garage at my other house that I haven't talked about in a really long time um, but I have a set of these without the gold band and I actually prefer them without the gold band so um, sometime soon, those will be making their way up onto eBay. I thought maybe this was fused glass, but when I turned it over, you can actually see that it is reverse painted. And then we have some enamel pieces. Um, these are marked on the back. Uh, they are Chinese, and I recently picked up two of these. So until I get rid of those, I really didn't want to pick up any more because I'm just not sure how they will do. These blue plates were pretty. I was surprised there was no markings on them. And then we found the candle. And it had dragonflies on it, which I think I was drawn to the dragonflies. You can see it's marked there on the bottom. Um, and it did have a music box on the inside, but I suspected there may have been a lid at one point. Now I've finally made my way over to the new cart. And this is the first thing I see. And I was so excited about this. He's a very cute little elephant. I don't know who makes him. He looks vintage, but it's possible that he's not. Andrew found this. <laughs> it's the last thing we need. Somebody will lose an eye, I feel like. And then the baby doll. You guys know I typically steer clear from baby dolls. This was $3.50. It was marked there on the back of the neck. And the quality of it, the facial features, I just felt like it was a better piece. Unfortunately, um, he might need some new hair glued on there or maybe a hat. But I felt like he was worth saving. All right, so here we've got everything. And Andrew's going to open up the 
you haul there. I did look up the baby doll. Yeah. And like some of them sell for 300 and some of them sell for 70 That seems to be the average. Um, so I'm pleased with either of those numbers when I only pay a few bucks for it. Then we brought the banana boxes. That's why I threw some in. <laughs> Well, I almost forgot to tell you guys our total spend there was $61. Um, now, this adventure... Passenger door open. My door's open? Yes, yeah, sign door. Ah, oh, there we go. Thank you. Now, this adventure uh, was not very long, so I think I'm probably going to end up tacking on some footage here to the end of this video. And I'm not sure yet what we're going to do, but we'll do something fun. <laughs> so, I'll see you in a few. Like... Oh my god, I'm at Goodwill. <laughs> I was having some lunch with some friends in Lancaster today, and I get a text message from my lovely girlfriend. Hey, could you stop by Goodwill and maybe get some footage to tack on to the end of another video? Okay. Twist my arm. Maybe there'll be something cool in there. We don't know. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to hit this for a little while, but I'm not going to spend too long here because I have to get back for Juliet's birthday party and I've got an hour drive back home from here. So let's go on in, let's see if we can find anything and flip it for a profit. See you in a bit. Hmm, got some Christmassy stuff here. Do, do, do. Alright, so... I saw this. This is a nice piece. This is an older German piece for $1.99. I'll grab that one. I'm sure Francis will appreciate it. I did manage to find a couple other things. Now, let's see. This guy we're actually going to put back because I looked at comps on this and this is only about a $10 piece so it's really not cost effective. But it's cool, it's Ringling Brothers, uh, Bardem and Bailey Circus, which is no more. Um, White Tiger mug, kind of cool. But we're going to leave that for somebody else. Um, I am going to grab these though for $2.99, I think it was. Yeah, $2.99. These are uh, Disney Parks Espresso Cups, and that's like $20 to $30. So those are definitely worth picking up and uh, enlisting. So I did find another piece of uh, older German pottery. I don't see any chips or things. Oh, wait, never mind. I just spun, fun sponged myself. Darn it. Okay, well I guess you're gonna go back. That's a shame, it's got a nice older German mark on it for $1.99, but damaged, I'm going to pass on it. Um, but we will give it a shot and see what else we can find. These are cool. Greencastle PA. $1.99. We've got a ton of this stuff at the shop. So I must have scratched off a price tag or something. That's a pretty big one. Alright, I'll throw that in the cart. Let's see. We're in the blue aisle and the leftovers are the red. And I will get back with you. Hmm. I don't know glass like this. I'm going to pass and I'm probably going to be wrong. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in a bit. This one's not marked. I'm not 100% sure on it, but I like the glaze. It's got a nice two-tone glaze to it. Um, somebody had already peeled the sticker back and there is no mark on it. It looks like it could be pretty modern by the, how little wear is on the bottom, uh, how clean it is, but, um, but I do like the glaze on it. So for $2.99, I'll give it a shot. It would look good in, uh, in some mid-century decor. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'll throw it in the cart bring home more stuff. Do we really need the stuff? No. <laughs> but I'm going to get it anyway. I like those. There's actually a few of them. Some 
Pyrex mixing bowls. What's this one? Oh, Jamestown, Virginia. That's kind of cool. $1.99. Never see Jamestown, Virginia. It's a butterfly trinket dish. I kind of like that. It's not marked or anything. $1.99. Yeah, we'll give him $1.99 for that one. I like the butterfly trinket dish. In Jamestown, it's kind of odd. You usually see like Chicago, Philly, New York, big cities. Um, and some of these old souvenirs can be kind of cool. I collect the Gettysburg ones. So we'll put that in the cart. Maybe not like that. Yeah, we'll make it work. I don't know how she does this one-handed. Honestly. <laughs> I'm not supposed to say things like that, so that'll probably get edited. Sometimes you can score good in board games, especially if you can find vintage board games. Um, I'm not seeing any today, but I always like to look at the board games. You never know. Some of the stuff from the 80s is decent and back. I like to take a quick peek at the toys. There's usually mostly modern toys here, but you never know. Oh, do I spy down here? No, picked up unfortunately. Yeah, this one's got a big doink there. This one's got a big doink up there and there. That's a shame. Is this broken? Oh, it's such a shame. Guns are broken. So this is actually like a tank spike. This was these were used to stop tanks. It's really lightweight. Call of Duty, World War II. But he's got a broken gun. He's got a broken gun. That's a shame. Otherwise, I would be snatching that up in a heartbeat. I've picked up a couple more things. Um, I'm going to grab this for $3.99. It's the Wharf Rat, which is actually out of Baltimore. Um, the glasses that I found comps for sell for about 20 bucks a piece. So I don't know what the picture would bring. Um, but got to be better than the glasses. We got this hand-blown funky top. And that is not a crack in it. That is an air bubble. So this one's in good shape. For $2.99, 1973, Wisterberg Glass Factory. First successful glass factory in America. And that's definitely hand blown. So for three bucks. Now most of these you find are Wheaton. Wheaton bottles. Do not buy Wheaton bottles. Wheaton bottles are not saleable. <laughs> But that could be, and I was having a hard time finding any comps or anything on that. And the pitcher, like I said, I found the, the mugs and the glasses for 20 bucks. So we'll give the pitcher a shot. It's got some weight to it, but it's Baltimore. It's fairly local, uh, relatively local for us. So it might actually sell. And if it's not something that sells online, we can definitely put it in the booth. It's a good booth item. Let's see what we got over here. Good lord, look at the size of that wash bowl. It's a monster. It's got a big crack and chip, that's a shame. That would have been a great piece. But it definitely picked that up. Sometimes you get lucky in the kitchenware. It's really hard to film in here. There's so many people and it's so tightly cramped. Um, but I did find a couple more things since the last time I was on, and I'll show you those now. This guy was kind of cool. He's just signed Kelly, so I'm assuming it's just like an art pottery piece. I'm not sure, but I really liked him, and I thought he was adorable, and everybody loves elephants. And he was $2.99, so we're going to grab him. 
Uh, we've been selling a lot of these block stamps. This is a pretty big one. This is a cathedral design. Looks like it says postmodern design cathedral for $1.99. We'll give that a shot since we've been doing all right with those. This is a me thing. I'm going to keep this. This is a Chewbacca ear can. Well, for me, soda can fusi. I'm going to keep that one. Another signed barn. This one's actually really nice. This one's got the silo attached. It's signed underneath the tag. I don't know, but for $1.99, the roof is textured. This one's actually much nicer quality than just the painted wood block ones. So we'll give that a shot for $1.99. And then we got this creepy, oh, this thing's so cool. It's like squishy, vintage looking severed head for $2.99. And I'm going to grab this because I did some looking at the comps on these and they're kind of all over the place. Um, for $12.99, we're supporting Goodwill. I like to support Goodwill and small businesses, but I like I like coming in here and shopping in Goodwill. So I'll pay $12.99 for a nice piece of Waterford. Um, I already did check it and make sure it's not damaged, so I didn't find any damage on it. Um, it's a nice ornament, nice crystal ornament, and uh, it says Hope across the front. It doesn't have a date on it, um, but they're calling it a Millennium Angel. But uh, I'm going to keep trucking on through here and see if we can come up with anything else. Portugal. Can we have a cashier up front, please? It's actually kind of a cool piece. I like the design on that plate. How much do they want for that? $3.99? Okay, I'm just going to buy a bunch of random stuff now and see what the girlfriend says. <laughs> see you in a bit. Came across one of these 1976 Bicentennial Rocks glasses. I actually get like five bucks a piece for these in the booth. Um, I mean, it's not much of a profit maker. But for two, I'm going to double, more than double my money on it. And the graphics are beautiful. It's never been through a dishwasher. Um, so I'm going to grab this one, throw this in the cart for $1.99. This will wind up over in the booth. This will not go on eBay. Uh, but for five bucks, somebody will pick this up. And everyone I've put in there so far has sold. So we'll just keep picking these little, little $5 glasses up. I like the ACL or applied color label to be really strong and vibrant if it is it hasn't been through the dishwasher which is nice dishwashers will destroy these types of glasses so don't go sticking them in a dishwasher all right let's see if we can find anything else this is pretty cool i'm not going to resell this i'm going to let juliet play with this this is still sealed in the package she likes moana it's actually a 25 dollar set if you go to buy it so for less than half of what that would cost um she'll have some action figures to play with and I know she likes the uh, Moana I like that movie that was pretty good so we'll pick this up for 10 bucks and I'll let Juliet play with it we just had a bunch of Russell Wright stuff from the dust house and this is Parker Ware by Russell Wright I can't find any damage on it which is unusual because usually these things chip up really really easy so I think it was $2.99 something like that yeah, two ninety nine. I'm gonna grab that for two ninety nine. I like Russell Wright. All right, so I did find something else. I decided to take one more peek down an aisle, and I came across a model of a ship, and it's two ninety nine, and it has its decals, it has its instructions, and all of the pieces are still on the plastic trees. So nobody's tried to put this together. This is a brand new, unused plastic model. And I'm going to flip you around. It's USS Arizona from Pearl Harbor. This one is memorialized in Pearl Harbor. And this is complete. So I was looking up some comps online because sometimes models, even newer models, can be good. So the decals are in there, the Arizona uh, instructions are in there, everything's there, it's complete. And for $2.99, I am not going to pass this up because this is an amazing ship. So we're going to get this, this is, this is great. 
I feel like I can get at least 20 or 25 bucks out of this model. Um, some of the comps, depending on which packaging. Now this one's the Memorial to the Tragedy of Pearl Harbor. So this is actually the better packaging that I was finding. Um, so I'm confident that if I stuck this in the booth, I'd have no problem, or even online, getting a good price for it. So for $2.99, yeah, that's, that's definitely going home with me. All right, but I really think that's it. I really think this is gonna do it for me. Oh, he's so cute. He's got some age to him. He's probably in like 1970s. Little bunny cooking. Oh, he's adorable. Do I, do I, do I, do I? No, I'm not gonna do it. I don't need him. Somebody else can have the cuteness. Norman Rockwell. That man could paint. Now, if they have the coin collector, I would buy that one, just because I would buy it for myself. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. I really don't know how she does this one-handed. That girl is talented. No, no coin collector in that pile, so we're gonna let it go. I heard a lot of stuff breaking in here today, and that looks like one of the uh, one of the poor results of things getting tossed around. And I think that's pretty much going to do it for my trip here to the Goodwill. I have to get back. We have Juliet's eighth birthday party this afternoon, evening at Sky Zone, and I have to totally psych myself up for two to two and a half hours of screaming children. I'm going to say goodbye. And hopefully this was enough footage for my lovely girlfriend to tie up this video. And we got some great stuff. Um, confident she'll be happy and with, with what I picked. And uh, most of it anyway. <laughs> but we'll give it a shot and we'll see what she says. And we'll catch you next time. See you later. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.